Hello, everyone, and welcome in. So the message we are channeling today will be a weekly guidance message for Pisces. If you want to skip straight to the message, there will be a timestamp below in the description box. For rules on how to receive tarot messages here on YouTube, check the description box below, especially if you're confused, guys. I've laid it out all down there. And for your full tarot scope, be sure to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus, which is your ruling planet for love and romance. Now, before we jump in, Pisces, I'm going to clear the space, set the intention. During this time, I invite you to clear your thoughts, set your own intentions by thinking of the person or asking a question that you have specific on your mind. So let's jump in. Spirit, guides, Archangel Uriel, Raphael, and Michael, I call upon you. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to channel these messages. Please allow a clear message to come through to those who need it. Please protect me, the seeker, and the space from any negative energies. Thank you again, spirit guides, archangels. Amen. All right, Pisces, let's jump right into the energy here and see what's coming up for you guys for this week. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to know? Please and thank you. Nine of Wands. I do feel a little bit of a tension here. Let's see if that comes back out, Pisces, for you in the message. The energy surrounding you this week, Pisces, the Four of Pentacles, the Empress, the Three of Cups. So I feel like this is definitely an energy of focusing on friendships, on self-care, withholding energy from somebody in your life that's causing conflict, causing competition. Now, maybe this was a romantic partnership. Maybe this was a friend. I feel like this person is trying to come forward. They've tried to reach out before, but you're ignoring this person. You're really asking yourself, is this something that you see yourself enduring for a long term? And I honestly feel here, Pisces, that you're kind of your perspective is changing on this relationship, on this person altogether. Definitely an energy of questioning. Which path do I choose? Which which way do we go from here? OK. So let's just go through the motions here. The energy surrounding you, the four of pentacles, the empress, the three of cups. So this is you. Again, withholding your energy, your attention, your time, celebrating with friends, going out with friends, enjoying life, right? Self-care is probably important for you this week. We're going to clarify all of this in a moment, but I feel like this person is trying to get your attention somehow. However, I feel Pisces, the reason why you've distanced yourself from this person is because either you feel like you're competing for this person's time, attention, and energy, or you have proof of that. And this isn't something that you really want to entertain, to be honest with you. That's what I see coming out here. So let's clarify this Four of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Three of Cups. Whatever transpired between you and this person has really changed your perspective on this relationship. Seven of Swords tells me that there's probably some deception. This person is probably being very misleading, keeping secrets, right? Withholding information. It's done in the dark. We'll come to the light. Yeah, Pisces, you're deciding to walk away from this. Now, I do feel like this person isn't going to be too happy about this. And they may very well try and, and fight for this connection or try and, and get your attention in, in one way or another, even if this is some sort of negative way. So be mindful of that. 
I will always say, guys, whenever we go through some sort of difficult ending with another person, it's important to be able to close out the chapter. And part of closing out the chapter is giving the other person closure so they aren't holding on to this connection. They aren't holding on to you energetically. We're all interconnected energetically. So if a person is thinking about you hardcore Pisces, you're going to feel that. Do feel like you're trying to make a plan on how to move forward from here. Trying to figure this all out. It's almost as if everything is at a standstill. But I do feel like you're not going back. You're not going back to the BS. This person, for some of you, may have left, uh, ghosted, not told you what was going on. It was like you were left in the dark. I also feel a heavy energy on betrayal. So it's, for a lot of you, it could have been a third party situation. You have to do what's best for yourself, Pisces. I feel like you're in the right energy of changing your perspective on this person. This person has some things that they have to address within themselves before they're going to be ready to be in a position to want to move into a solid relationship. Are you willing to wait? So let's pull a few cards out for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information on how to schedule is all below. This toxic, and I want to say this is an addiction, Pisces. Um, for a lot of you, this is an addictive behavior pattern. Maybe it's just overindulging in food or, or gambling, but I feel like this devil energy is affecting more areas of their life than what they would like to admit. In turn, it's also affecting your life. And you really have to ask yourself, Pisces, because this could be what they're hiding, right? This could be what they're hiding because I feel like they're not trying to let this go. And a lot of times, guys, when we're in an addictive behavior pattern, even if it's like overindulging in food or gambling or spending, things along those lines can still sabotage other areas in our life. So you have to ask yourself, Pisces, and I'm just presenting the information. You still have the decision to make. You can A, deal with this person. Endure the trauma until they figure this out and recalibrate their energy. Or B, distance yourself from the situation and put yourself first. Work on yourself, focus on your own stability, and prepare yourself for that union that you want. Um, the, the ultimate love connection. Okay? For a lot of you, this is coming out as a karmic energy, a karmic situation. I will say that the lesson is learned. For most of you, this is an energy of lesson is learned. Okay. So, Pisces, your soul truth message coming out for your reading is, what can I burn? Burn it. Burn it all. The ugly lies. The pain. The shame, the criticism, the image that run through your mind and the reminders of what you did wrong and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for rebirth. You are like a phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Today's soul action, make a choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will the next chapter look like? Beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you're still here, you find the messages resonating. Give it a butterfly emoji for transformation. It's definitely a difficult energy to transmute, but I feel like you're making it through this beautifully Pisces. So 
give yourself a little bit of grace through this process and understand that you are making the right decision when moving forward from this toxicity. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.